Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for more Let's Play Trauma Center Second Opinion. In the last episode we did chapter 5-8, fi uh, A Devil. In this chapter we're going to be doing 5-9, Death Awaits All. Eat Auth Research Facility. Professor? Who are you? I'm a doctor from Caduceus. You're going to be okay, sir. We need to operate immediately. Please don't resist. Heh, <laughs> I think you're confused. But no matter, it's too late. This is, that isn't true. We saved your colleagues and we can save you. Yes, I was disappointed by how quickly you stopped my guilt. You found ways to treat all six strains. You've definitely proven your surgical skills. But the guilt inside me is unlike anything you've seen thus far. Now that Zavato is completed, this facility means nothing to me. So I'm ending it all before Delphi can. Go! A pathetic sinner like me isn't worth saving. I'm a doctor. Helping people fight off disease is my job. You can worry about your sins after I save your life. None of us are allowed to die. It's exactly as he preached. But that doesn't matter. I've made my choice. Why did you create guilt? You threw away your reputation, your life, even your family. Why, father? Angie, I was afraid that was you. I wanted to die, so you'd never find out about this. Just tell me why. Angela Blackwell's father died 13 years ago. I'm just a ghost. Please, let me pass on. You can't do this! Is this the kind of father you want? It's my job to help people, and I'm proud of that fact. I refuse to watch you die. As you wish. But you cannot defeat death. It is not of this world. Begin anesthesia. Uh... We'll start operating as soon as it takes effect. Get ready, Angie. Kenneth Blackwell, 73.1 inches, 165.4 pounds. Chiral reaction positive. Unknown infection detected. Pulse has dropped, so cardiac complications are extremely likely. Likely. The chiral reaction seems to be coming from his abdomen. The spectral analysis indicates this is the same guild as before. Angie. I saw a lot of my father's back. I can still see him sitting at his desk in the study. If I tried to speak with him, he'd always say that he was too busy. His own daughter, and he wouldn't even turn around to face me. And then he left us. He turned his back on us once and for all. Was this what he left us for? Was this worth abandoning his own family? He abandoned us, but he's still my father. Please save him, doctor. You have a lot to answer for, Professor Blackwell. Those are sins that you'll have to deal with yourself. First, I'm gonna make sure you survive this. I die. won't let you die. Right. Let's not let him die. <laughs> Judging by the data we found, this strain is called Zavato. It's most likely the final type of guilt. Let's, let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut him open and see what we got. This is Zavato? How can my father create such a thing? Doctor, attack the center one. It's causing the most problems. 
We just received after the girl's analysis. Let me read it. Essentially, the Savado's nest directly nullifies the victim's heartbeat. It still steps pulse to create energy for its own purposes. So basically, Savado is a parasitic form of death itself. At the moment, I can't think of any way to actually stop it. There's no way to stop it? But we might have one possible countermeasure. The guilt depends on energy from its nest, so if we destroy that... Doctor, destroy the nest! That could be our only chance! Yes, it worked! Wait, what happened to the scalpel you were using? I don't know. When I touched the thread, it started melting. I brought spares, though. Grab some from our supply box. We'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Keep cutting, Doctor. So yeah, um, each time you hit the nest and make it disappear, or a thread out of the nest, the uh, scalpel will disappear, and you have to wait until you get a new one, so... Because apparently this nest is very... or these threads on the uh, nest are very corrosive, apparently, because they keep melting our uh, scalpels. And he will come by every so often and uh, put a new nest. When your scalpel disappears, just concentrate on zapping the smaller Savato, which I think are like called like Savati or something like that, and uh, just and as soon as it comes back, then go ahead and hit another thres thread, and make sure that the um, <coughs> that the little Savati or Saviti or whatever it's called um, don't combine. Otherwise, they'll before they'll turn into those little blue ones that. Um, before and if I remember correctly, they do do quite a bit of damage to the uh, to the uh, victim if they do it. So anyway, go ahead and get it, zap it. There you go. It's over here, Doctor. There's a shift in the cow readings. Don't stop now. So I believe this is the last time we actually have to attack the nest portion. So just keep doing it. And also another thing is uh, on these parts, it's pretty easy. So. Uh, but if you're having trouble, you may want to restart it. Do not, under any circumstances, please do not use your um, healing touch. Because you will need it later when something uh, automatically happens. Otherwise, the uh, it, this mission will be unbeatable. So, And I'll explain why when we get to that part. But uh, anyway, just keep zapping at the, uh, at the nest threads as you can. Eventually, destroyed the Zavato's nest. I think that did it. Oh no, it's absorbing the smaller guilt bodies into itself. It's another report from Victor. If the nest is destroyed, it can't continue absorbing energy from the heart. That should allow you to neutralize its corrosive protective layer. So yeah, um... Just zap it with a laser. and It'll take a few zaps, but... It will work, <laughs> trust me on this one, so. I think at some point you will have to actually use the, uh, the, um, scalpel, but just wait until it keeps dodging your laser and then use it. And there are some parts where I start doing stupid things because I think the laser isn't working, and, um, start using other things, so got through another chance to attack Savato directly and here I keep trying to zap it and uh, see laser isn't working so I should have been smart enough to realize that I need to use a different tool but I kept for some reason kept being an idiot because I didn't pay attention to what she was saying and I kept using the laser so uh, but basically what you need to do when that happens and you start dodging the laser you actually need to use the scalpel so I would suggest now using the scalpel if you're playing along with me because um, you'll get a better score than I did. Which I didn't get a bad score to begin with, but... I could have got a better score if I would have been smart about this. But obviously I wasn't. So... And, like I said, anytime your... Um, anytime one of your items go get uh, starts working, just start using uh, anything else you can to uh, defeat to fix the lacerations or 
Well, if your laser stops working, you can't actually zap those little little savatis or savados or whatever they're called. So I don't know why he keeps dodging the uh, the uh, the thread or what do you call it, the sutures, because uh, it's not like I'm going to be able to hurt him with it. <laughs> There, I was like, ah, maybe the antibody gel work, but obviously it doesn't. And neither does that. And then I poke him with a scalpel, like, oh yeah, got reactions increasing. It's in your hand, Dr. Styles. Keep going, Doctor. You have to kill it. All right. So, I figured, I thought I needed to use the scalpel since that worked, but first you actually need to uh, laser it and burn it. Um, I guess you can call it a shell, I'm not sure. But you want to do that. You want to use the laser as much as you can on it until uh, it starts dodging the laser. Because eventually it'll get smart and be like, hey, maybe I should start dodging the laser. <laughs> so, just keep on burning at it. And then eventually you will have to. Uh, I don't know why I was using the drain there. Not a very smart uh, thing to do, in my, uh, if you ask me. So, I have no idea why I was doing that. Anyway, keep zapping it. I don't know what I was doing there, but uh, why I was trying to use the um, the stitches on it, but whatever. I was trying to use that scalpel on it too for some reason, but I still need to zap it some more, so. start getting nervous and start doing stupid things when I'm doing things like this and the fate of the world quote unquote depends on me <laughs> at least the fate of the world in the video game anyway but um, and just just pay attention to the vitals the vitals shouldn't be too much of an issue except for the final part which I'll get to eventually because I think we're pretty much almost done um, taking care of this uh, this uh, Savato, so and getting to the final part of this, so just keep zapping it. And oof, I don't know what I was doing, but anyway, just keep on zapping it. Make sure the vitals stay safe, of course. And now he's dodging it, so I'm like okay. So since he's dodging it, I should use the scalpel on it. So go ahead and do that. And boom. Looks pretty good. Pretty good, Derek. Chief, what are you doing here? We rushed over to give you this. It's medicine for Savato. The researcher you saved helped us design a serum that can st should stop this thing. This class right after that, but hey, we got what we wanted. I guarantee this will work though. Inject it into the guilt. We need to wrap this up so we can figure out where the Savato went. So yeah. I was doing really crappy, as you can see. So anyway, it's right here. So we need to inject the serum into it. But I miss, of course. You actually need to uh, laser it some first, actually. And then inject it whenever they tell you to, so. So just keep lasering it. And uh, doing anything else that you can when the laser goes bad. All right. So I think you have to do that a couple of times. Uh, laser it to so it says okay. You have to do that a couple of times. So and I stopped that. As you saw I just barely stopped that baby Savato from getting into the uh, burrowing in and doing some damage to his vitals. But you know it's just you just keep on. Uh, lasering it and eventually after you laser it enough um, it will I don't know if it's getting to the point where it's going to start dodging the laser yet I'll have to find out yeah um, yeah it's dodging the laser so now I'll use the scalpel car reaction slow finish it off with the injection so go ahead and inject it boom and now it's angry. No! Damn it, you're not getting what you're not getting away. Professor Blackwell's going to live. So yeah, he automatically used the um 
hitting touch and you want to go ahead and use it after he does that to freeze time otherwise it will be unbeatable because he will sit there and he will keep uh, getting lacerations over and over in that same spot and that will of course make your vitals go down and uh, Professor Blackwell will die but there we go no disease is incurable I'll never accept that so. Kyle reaction has disappeared D dad we did it Dr. Styles saved you thank you Derek thank you so much Go ahead and uh, close them up. It looks like we finally won the war against guilt. It's over. And did I mention how much I love this music? <laughs> it took long enough, Styles, but you earned that healing touch. I'm proud to be your assistant. And I'm proud of you, Dr. Styles. And we're getting A rank. Yay. Okay. So. I didn't cry. Yesterday you said I was much stronger than you. So I forced myself not to cry. I'm your assistant, Dr. Styles. And an assistant has to support her, Doctor. Thank you for allowing me to see my father again. I'm proud of you, Angie. Doctor, we still need to carry him out. Then it's finally over. Alright, so that is it for Chapter 5. Uh, there is a Chapter 6, if I remember correctly. But, before we do that, there is one more chapter we have to go through where we actually play as a different Doctor. And so, next time we will start Chapter Z with Z-1 from Overseas. So until then, thank you for watching everybody, and have a great day.